the farm and um, they have drunk about this much this is um, this is uh, two to one sugar to water plus I put a bunch of herbs in here uh, to uh, give some flavor and there's bees buzzing around me here here's the see the hive Here's the hive right here. There are my little girls coming up saying, where did the food go? Where did the food go? Let me show you. Here go right here. I cut this little hole in there and I got the feeder in there and they're all excited. And they're uh, buzzing around. So the point of my uh, little inspection here is I really want to see if I can get this up here. This guy's going to sting me. Right. Here, I'm trying to get this set up here a little bit. Right, so I'm here. There's been a lot of rain, but uh, I put this little top in, and that's for the bees to go in. And what I want to do is actually check to see if they're um, if they're feeding at all. Wow, big old drone there! It's amazing how big these drones are. Let me grab him and show you. You know, yeah, he's gone back in. The drones are so massive. These I call them sumo drones. Comes back up, I'll grab them. They don't sting. Man, I'm trying to see if they're starting to build. They're not building any new cone on on my little cone. This is a little bit of their cone I put up there, but it hasn't taken yet. Um. Looks like they really want to build another queen chamber, super seed cell. I closed this down, so let me show you what I have here. It didn't. I'm looking for the queen, so you can't really see here. But I actually pinched this super seed cell here, and they're actually building cone out on it. It's called, it's probably known as burr cone. Um, I move my arms so you see better. There's a lot of uh, sugar water they put in here. They've got I don't see any um, I don't see any eggs yet. I don't see the queen. She may be off. The virgin queen may be doing some mating. So they're definitely filling up the. Um, the cone with uh, sugar water, which is good. That's their food for the winter. And here's some more here. I'm scanning for the queen. I don't see her on this frame. She may have gone off on her, her on her mating flight. Uh, a queen bee, after she hatches, will fly off and mate. And they, um, this, yeah, they actually built wax up on this. So this had foundation on it, and they built wax up on it. So the foundation does help, it, apparently, to help them get their going, because this one, they pretty much did the entire sheet. Whereas this one here, they have not. Looks like they may be building out a little bit more. There's the queen. The queen is actually in this corner here. Just saw her. She may have moved to the other side. I think she did. But there are no eggs. She's not laying any eggs yet. And this is cone that they've drawn themselves. So you can see the difference between having the foundation in there, right, versus no foundation. Let me see if I can point out the queen to you, the little virgin queen. May she may not be a virgin any longer. Well, she's not laying, so I guess she is. 
There she is. She's um, she's right in the middle of the frame here, right there. She's actually looking a little bigger. Her abdomen is a little bit more extended. And um, but she's not laying any eggs yet. She's kind of small. She's half the size of my other queen. But she's a beauty. So just watching her move around. She's just pushing them around, measuring. Now she's got her tail in there. But nothing came out. I don't see anything in there. There's a bee feeding another bee. The nurse bee feeding a young bee. She probably just hatched out. I see some larva from the last queen in there growing up. Well, that's old larva. These guys need to draw down the cone. And she's gone through a little hole to the other side. There's a little hole at top, so now she's came on this side. They're capping some honey on here. Oh, she's gone back to the other side. So obviously she doesn't really want to be disturbed. So let's put her back in here. Let's see. Ah! I just squished the bee. I'm squishing you too. Come on. Come on. One may have there. These guys are a little bit more rowdy, and I think one just came on me, flew on me, and stung me. So, all right, I'm gonna put you all back. Sorry for disturbing you. It's all right. I'm leaving now. It's all right. I'm leaving now. You know, I don't have a good sight here. So. These are definitely acting like you, you are disturbing us and it's not appreciated. So. It's been raining, it's overcast, and um, it's not always a good thing for bees, so I hear you. I'm leaving now. Come on, move. All right, get you back up here.
okay? And let's give you some more sugar water, okay? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Come on. All right, so that inspection is done. As you can see, I don't use any gear. I call myself a Zen beekeeper. Yeah, they buzz around. I may have gotten stung. I don't know. It felt like a st sting, but then again, I don't know. And um, I put the little feeder here. I don't know if you see that. Sorry, I'm covering the, the video. But here's the feeder. And in here is uh, herbs, so there's mint and basil and other good stuff to give some flavor to the sugar water. So I'm gonna leave, leave them be, put the stone, put the brick back on their, their hut, and now I'm gonna go into the other one and take a look at them. And they're, they're saying, hey, the entrance is now over here, the entrance is over here, the entrance is over here. All right.